expressing their anger. Syrian protesters denouncing Russia and China for supporting the Syrian government's bloody crackdown on the uprising. Burning the country's flags and chanting anti-Russia and China slogans have become a major part of daily protests. And despite the talk of an Arab-led initiative to add the violence, columns of Syrian army units continue to be on the move. This online video, which we cannot independently verify, was uploaded on Tuesday. It's said to show soldiers and tanks heading to the province of Idlib. Salute the men of Assad, a soldier says. Activists say the large number of troops and tanks show that the Syrian government intends to continue its violent crackdown. In the capital Damascus, Western diplomats wanted to send a message of support to the Syrian uprising. Activists posted a video of U.S. and French ambassadors to Syria conveying their condolences at a ceremony in Daraya for slain activist Raith Motar. Mourners who attended say security forces raided the ceremony after the diplomats left. Motar was arrested last week. His body returned on Saturday, marked by what looked like signs of torture. And with the news coming from Cairo that Arab League officials intend to visit Damascus soon, protesters in Arrestan and Homs wanted to remind everyone of their demand. Arrestan wants to execute the president. Meanwhile, the state's news agency says that the members of the Arab League delegation will be visiting cities and areas in Syria to see for themselves what's really happening on the ground. The agency also says that the Arab League chief had agreed with President Assad on implementing political reforms and to hold a national dialogue. But it looks almost certain that the protesters will remain unconvinced and continue marching for freedom. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera, Amman.